We've got a great story for you from Rockford, Ohio, to Athens, to Cincinnati, to Detroit, via London. Yeah, that's the path Parkway grad at Jordan Thompson has taken to get to the NFL. And while the rookie tight end points out NFL stands for not for long, he's making the most of his time in the league. Andy was joined by Jordan at Friday's Van Wert FCA meeting and found out Thompson's ascent is surprising many. You know, just uh, the other night, the general manager introduced me to a former player that played back in the 60s and had said, you know, I'm a guy that they brought in thinking, you know, I'd just be a camp body or an extra guy to have to, you know, to give uh, the veteran players some rest. And, and here I am today. I'm still still hanging in there, still sticking around. And, um, you know, the last two weeks especially, um, I got called up to the active roster against the Saints and against Atlanta. And, uh, you know, we pulled out two wins in those games. And it's, it's, a bit, it's been amazing to, to think how far, you know, how, how much things have changed in the last year. In Thompson's first two NFL games, there's been plenty of come from behind drama, including a last second field goal in London. To be down 21 points uh, and then to come back and win it. You know, one of the things Coach Caldwell always says is you're never out of it. You know, keep the course and, uh, you know, see who wins at the end. And fortunately, we came out on top. London was a great trip. It was one of those things where, you know, it was awesome to be there. We got there on Tuesday morning early, and uh, so we had a lot of time to, to visit the city, to check all the sites out, and, uh, you know, at the same time, it was a, it was a business trip too, and uh, fortunately, we got the win. And God has continued to show Thompson what it means to win in life. Just to believe, you know, to believe in him and believe in, in the course that he has planned out for my life. And, and one thing about being on Detroit is there are a lot of Christians and we're led by a great Christian man and Coach Caldwell and, and that shines throughout the entire organization. Um, you know, we, we have chapel services and Bible studies and so forth and, and it, it's powerful to see, you know, out of a team of, we, I think we got 63 guys on our team, uh, 50 some will show up for, for a chapel service and, and that's, that's organization wide. That's our, our general manager, the president of the team, our head coach, our coaching staff and our players. And, and it's just awesome to be in that situation where you have a lot of Christian men around you and, uh, and, and striving uh, to do the Lord's and serve the Lord.